Wait a second, is this a movie or a 90 minute car commercial? The Transporter Refueled attempts to relaunch the Transporter series without Jason Statham, who was in the first three. This time, once again, following somebody who takes goods from point A to point B, but doesn't want to know anything about them. That's basically what happens with lots of actions, kicking and hitting and shooting and all sorts of fun stuff like that. Uh, let's take a look at whether or not this movie works. And the short answer is nah, not really. Now, there are some things I did like about it. One, I think the guy that got to uh, replace Statham kind of in that central role is actually pretty decent. His name's Ed Screen, and I think he does an okay job. I also really liked his interaction with his dad in the movie, played by Ray Stevenson. Them together, I thought was one of the, or some of the only points in the movie where I was like, okay, I can buy into this. I can buy into their dialogue, to what they're saying, that kind of thing. The rest of the movie is pretty eye-rollingly bad. Unless you can get enjoyment out of like the scenery of the French Riviera, uh, this is one you'll probably have a better time making fun of than actually enjoying. At least that's what happened when I was there. This is one of those movies where the action is over the top, the dialogue is over the top, the music is over the top, everything is delivered with such gravitas and importance, and it just feels like they're trying too hard. But the real part of this movie, even beyond all the eye-rolling stuff that I really didn't like, is there wasn't enough information here. You'll hear people talk about TMI, too much information. This was TLI, too little information. There's this balance of information that a movie needs to have, right? Where you know enough to be interested, but not so much that you're not still guessing at some things. So you have to find that sweet spot. And this movie does not tell you near enough. You are in the dark for most of the movie about what's going on, which makes any guesses you have about what might be happening in the plot or who might be in control completely blind and worthless. You don't care about the characters because you don't know enough about them. You don't care about what they're trying to do because you kind of don't know what they're trying to do. And it becomes a real, not only distraction, but just something that drags the movie down and in between action scenes feels like complete boredom because you don't have anything to root for or anything else to do. Now, as for those eye rolling action scenes, I did appreciate that they tried to do kind of some Jackie Chan type stuff like environmental martial arts. That was at least, could be considered fun and interesting. The problem is it's so far over the top that it's so unbelievable and ridiculous that unless you have a, a suspension of disbelief knob that goes up to like 12, you're, you're going to be laughing at it rather than enjoying it as true drama, if that makes sense. Overall, the transporter refueled is an attempt at bringing back the franchise that just doesn't quite work. Uh, even with Luke Besson writing it and producing it, they just couldn't find the equation for me to like it any more than a C minus. Thanks for checking out this Your Movie Friend review. As always, we'll get to the best ever challenge here in a second. First, if you want to click the eye up here for the cards, you can see other reviews that have happened here on the channel. You can support what goes on here. There's plenty of ways to interact with what we do. I also do Periscope. So if you would follow me, Aaron Dicer, on Periscope, I'd appreciate that as well. After I get out of every single movie, I fire up Periscope and I have that conversation uh, with other movie lovers about the movie, answer questions. It's a lot of fun. It's one of my favorite things. So search for Aaron Dicer on Periscope. If you don't have it, just download it to your mobile device. I'm sure you'll have a good time. Also, if you want to subscribe to the podcast, that's Sift Pop, S-I-F-T-P-O-P. -P. You can search on iTunes or Stitcher for the podcast. All right, the best ever challenge this time. Um, I want to do best Ray Stevenson movie. There you go. You may have not even know who that guy is. Do a Google search. Uh, I think he's great and he's in some decent movies. Uh, my favorite Ray Stevenson movie, I'll have to put the hammer down for the first one. Not the first Ray Stevenson movie. The first movie that I'm putting the hammer down for. Is that confusing enough for you? Take a guess in the comments and let me know your favorite Ray Stevenson movie. And as always, here's five extra seconds to hit subscribe right down in this corner.